What's good, Eagles fans? This is your boy, Tony DeShields II, and y'all are tuned into your dose of Chalk It Up, where no matter if we win or if we lose, we just got to charge it to the game. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe for more content. And also, please go check out the Chalk It Up merch shop as well. I got so many items on there for you guys to check out, and I'll be so grateful for the support. But nonetheless, let's hop right into the content. So as we all know, the Philadelphia Eagles decided to trade back from the 6th overall pick to the 12th overall pick. And a lot of people were up on arms about it. I really wasn't. I really wasn't surprised, to be quite honest with you. I'll be honest, though. I really didn't want us to trade back. But when you think about it in totality, it wasn't really a bad move because it gave us an additional first-round pick for the 2022 draft. But just staying current with this draft, it would be dope for the Eagles to target a defensive player in that first round with that 12th overall pick. There have been so many guys that I've been targeting, but I would love for them to give the guy J.C. Horn a shot to play for this team, mainly because I love his swagger. I love what he brings to the table physically and mentally. And the dude is played for the SEC, so he's known for going against top-tier talent at the skill position, playing for South Carolina. And he logged in six foot one, 205 pounds. He's a big body corner with long arms, and he's built to battle big wide receivers in the NFL. He has the mentality, he has the swagger, he has the moxie, he has the grit. He has everything that you want in your cornerback. The confidence, the aggression, and the fearlessness. First of all, the dude is extremely confident, he's physical, he believes he's the best cornerback in his draft. And that's how I like my cornerbacks to think. I like my cornerbacks to believe that they're the best player on the field at all times. Just speaking about his pro day, the man showed up early. You know, I was watching his vlog where he... Um, pretty much detailed his, his experience throughout the pro day, and he pretty much vlogged the entire the entire way. Um, all all his measurables, everything he did during the pro day, he vlogged it. And I gotta admit, I fell in love with the guy. I I I, I can't ever deny it. The dude just brings something to the table that that just pops off of the screen. He never gives up on the ball. He has active hands, and you know, at the pro day, he logged in a 4.39 40-yard dash, a 41.5-inch vertical, and 11-foot broad jump, and he put up 19 reps, lifting 225 pounds. So the dude is a physical specimen at that DB spot. In addition, while he was at South Carolina for three years, he put up two interceptions, 23 pass deflections, 101 tackles, three sacks, two forced fumbles. So the dude is pretty much everywhere on the field, and he's explosive. Now, I understand that he did put up a lot of interceptions throughout his career, but just from a technique standpoint, from a fundamental standpoint, a lot of these guys are saying he's improved tremendously each and every year. And that's something you want out of your DB, the commitment to be great, the commitment to get better every single year. Now, those two interceptions that he did log in came in 2020 against Auburn. And a lot of people saying that that was one of his best games as a college athlete. And looking at the film, I understand why. The dude was just in and everywhere. He was in the wide receiver's chest. He was in the wide receiver's pocket. And honestly, man, you couldn't drop change around that guy because he was catching any and everything. But, you know, targeting J.C. Holm would definitely give the Eagles the best chance to get better on defense besides adding a guy like Michael Parsons. But when it comes to the DBs, that would definitely, definitely put us in a great position. And that would give us a legit starting DB, a legit starting cornerback on day one because we need that. Um, Darius Slay is by himself on the island, and he needs help. Avante Maddox is too small. Um, LeBlanc is too small. And uh, other guys just don't measure up. That's just the bottom line. But bringing in a guy like J.C. Horn, who's six foot one and over 205 pounds, he can really bring something different to the DB spot. And that's something we need in this Eagles organization. We haven't had good cornerbacks in a long time. And I feel like if we draft a guy like J.C. Horn, that can definitely put us in position. Now, there are guys like Patrick Sertain and Caleb Farley that, that are available as well, that may be available. But let's remember, the Dallas Cowboys need a DB as well. And I wouldn't be surprised if they, if they targeted Patrick Sertain or Caleb Farley. And also, I wouldn't be surprised if they targeted J.C. Horn as well because J.C. Horn is just climbing up, up the draft boards. His draft stock is just, just rising, mainly based off his pro day. And people compared it to the game tape, and they say he's, he's, he is as advertised. But if the Eagles manage to get J.C. Horn, I would absolutely love it. And I'd be one of the first guys to get a Horn jersey, man, because the dude has pedigree. His dad, former uh, pro bowler four times, Joe Horn, uh, he's a New Orleans Saints legend at wide receiver. So he got the genetics, and it'd be dope to have J.C. Horn in the building. But I'll leave it at that, you guys. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more content if you like what you heard. And on top of that, go check out the Chalk It Up merch shop as well. 
As you guys already know, I'm your humble host, Tony the Shows the Second, and y'all have been tuned into your dose of Chalk It Up, where no matter if we win or if we lose, we just gotta charge us to the game. One love, fly with fly.